Hey guys, it's Paige Pierce. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so sorry that it's been a while. It's been raining here in SoCal and it's never supposed to rain here. It's actually still raining today, but I couldn't stand to be inside any longer. What am I gonna do if I can't go throw some discs? So I decided to come out and grab all of my throwing putters. I told you guys that I was super excited about the new Crystal Fierce. So I brought all 10 of those out with me today. And I also brought out my Banger GTs, which up until this point was my throwing putter. So I'm gonna throw them all side by side and hopefully give you guys a few tips to improve throwing putters as well, because I think it's very, very useful in disc golf. So come on, check it out. You guys see that basket back by the clubhouse? I'm gonna throw a few shots back towards it. Wait. No problem. All of this first set is going to be slower speed. I'm gonna do standstill or like one little baby step. And these are just so you guys can see how they fly at slower speeds when you don't put as much torque into them. These first few are gonna be in a hyzer release right of the pole and it's gonna stay on that hyzer line, but just softly drift over to the left into that light patch of grass. When I throw the banger alongside it, the banger wants to dip out harder to the left where the fierce wants to just go straight on that same angle. These next few, I'm aiming dead straight in between the pole and the tree. On the banger, on these straighter shots, you can tell that I'm throwing them quite a bit harder than the Crystal Fierce. And I think that this is gonna be the main purpose for me throwing the Crystal Fierce is because I don't have to throw them that hard. When I'm landing an approach shot, I want it to land as soft as possible. And up until this point, I've been throwing the banger, but having to really power it to get it to go straight. So this is gonna be my most important use of the Crystal Fierce moving forward. So let me take you guys back to when we first created the fears, the first disc I ever helped create, I was looking for a dead straight putter. And that's exactly what I got. In the later stages of testing, I was realizing that in the prototype plastic, when I was throwing it, it started out great, but as it continued to beat in, they started to flip over when I was throwing them. I told the owner of Discraft that I wanted to beef up the plastic a little bit so it stayed straighter and he said don't worry about that if it's perfect how you like to put it let's keep it as is and we'll just make a premium plastic so that you can throw it and so the biggest difference I'm seeing between the prototype fierce and the crystal fierce is on an Anheuser release so as you guys can see here the Anheuser release on the prototype plastic just wants to flip over in the flight and kind of turn into a worm burner as we call them and just find the ground on an angle. This is not what we want. It turns into rollers to the left if you throw it too hard. So with the Crystal Fierce, I'm able to throw it a little bit harder and know that it won't find that edge. It'll just hold that nice Anheuser line and land soft on the green exactly as intended. And a few people have been asking me, what do they fly like on a sidearm? I'm not throwing them on super long range sidearms, but definitely for out of the rough and like slight turnover or slight pop up to flat. So check these ones out. First one, I'll do slight hyzer to flip up. when you have to step out of the rough and give it that little Anheuser release, I'm gonna aim it right of the telephone pole and see how much to the left it moves. So on those shots, I used to be kind of indecisive. Should I go with the Banger GT or should I go with the Fierce? At the time, this was the only Fierce, the prototype plastic. And I'm gonna throw them both on that same line just so you guys can see the difference on uh, like the flight path. The banger, I was having to really torque my wrist and sometimes it would actually even still hyzer out. Um, cost me a couple strokes at Waco actually, it hyzered out into the water. And then this one kind of just wants to find the ground a little too quick and kind of cut hard to the, to the left. So that one, I would have missed my mark. I would have came inside the tree line. And 
this one, I'm going to have to aim wider, but put more angle on it. And that one's just kind of finicky. I really like how smoothly the Crystal Fierce comes off my hand. So I think I'm going to be going with that one for that kind of shot and lots of other up shots too. Say hello to Sadie. Sadie, come here. Up. <laughs> so now that you guys have seen what it flies like at slower speeds, I'm going to back up to this keypad right here and just try to rocket them dead straight with a little more torque. We're going to be throwing them close to 300 feet now and uh, show you guys what they fly like when you put a little more power behind them. Are they going to hold up or are they going to try to burn over like most straight to understable putters want to try to do? Try to pay attention. I'm going to throw in some slow-mo shots here as well so you can really see how it's coming out of my hand. Even if it doesn't go dead straight, watch how it comes out of my hand and watch how it holds that line the entire time. It's so fun to throw and it's seriously one of the greatest throwing tools that I've ever had. It really shows you how you release the disc. It's so beautiful. That one I had a slight bit of turn on my wrist. It's really, it really makes me, you know, just like enforce where I put my wrist and the release. It's really good tool, like I'm saying. <laughs> exactly the same. Obviously that's my error right now. So this one I'm going to put on a hyzer release really hard still and show you guys that it doesn't hyzer out but it also doesn't flip it just rides that smooth hyzer guys so i hope that you enjoyed watching the crystal fierces fly as much as i did i really really enjoy watching the flight of these things it's really fun for me one thing i did want to kind of help you guys with is throwing putters i get a lot of questions during clinics on how do you throw a putter so far you make it look so easy that is the point right there is that i'm not trying to throw them hard i'm trying to throw them soft if you guys noticed at the beginning of the video when i was throwing them at slower speeds they almost went just as far so my number one tip when you're throwing putters is to use the glide to your advantage don't try to over torque them because they're not meant to throw so fast so first step on doing that is make sure you match your lower body output with your upper body output. If you're running super fast and then you barely throw it with your arm, it's not going to be good. And vice versa, if you're barely moving and then you rip it with your arm, it's not going to be good. So put the same amount of effort and weight into your lower body that you do with your upper body. And the second tip, and this one is very important as well, is to put it a tiny bit nose up. I know this goes against everything that you've heard about keeping the disc flat, but when you're throwing putters, and I'm saying to use the glide to your advantage, it's meant to kind of just push forward slowly. So when you put it a little bit nose up, that's going to bring in the element where it kind of just elevators down towards the ground and doesn't spike hard either direction. So when you have that nose up and it's starting to lose speed, it's just gonna slowly come down. And this is what you're looking for when throwing a putter, not something super fast and flat that's gonna dip out one way or the other. So I hope those two tips help. And if you guys did really enjoy how the Crystal Fierce flew, check out discraft.com on May 1st. Unfortunately, the site is closed down for now due to the coronavirus, but May 1st, we're opening back up and you guys can get some of these if you want. I think there's still 300 available. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Comment down below what you guys want to see on the next video. Hopefully it stops raining soon and we can shoot some cool challenges. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Make sure you guys subscribe. And thank you, thank you, thank you to these elite team members for making this possible. Yeah. <laughs>